Tonight, President Obama delivers his final State of the Union address. In it, we can expect to hear a rundown of administration accomplishments, as well as long-term plans for where he'd like the country to go after his tenure. One America's Neil W. McCabe spoke to a Texas Republican congressman about his expectations for the speech. Texas Republican Congressman Brian Babin is a practicing dentist, and when he talked to One American News about his attending President Barack Obama's State of the Union address, it was like he was talking about getting a root canal. I think the best thing about the State of the Union is that it'll be the last one we get, get to hear from this president. Like his fellow Capitol Hill conservatives, the freshman said the president has a challenge trying to impress him. I've only made one. Uh, I sat through the one last year, and I assume this one is going to be very similar. Uh, he's going to get up there and tell us uh, that uh, he's solved all the world's problems. It is an opportunity lost, he said, because the American people are very anxious about the president's plan to bring refugees into the United States from Syria. It's pretty obvious that they're very apprehensive about the, the uh, terrorism situation, uh, about our foreign policy, about ISIS coming in, domesticated terror as well. Uh, and um, they want to see this refugee uh, plan uh, stopped. Babin said the recent attacks in Paris, San Bernardino, California, Philadelphia, and in his own backyard in Houston are red flags the president should recognize. Another topic the congressman expects to hear from the president is the plan to bring in more foreign workers, a plan Americans oppose, he said. They don't want to see uh, these visas where we bring in tens of thousands of foreigners who, who displace Americans uh, from jobs that they already have. And, and uh, I think, I think the, this is probably what we're going to hear tonight. Article 2 of the Constitution that describes the role and responsibilities of the president states, he shall from time to time give the Congress information of the State of the Union and recommend to their consideration such measures as he shall judge necessary and expedient. Surely the president speaks of what he judges necessary and expedient. But Capitol Hill conservatives like Babin will be considering the source. Neil W. McCabe, One America News, Washington.